Well, we've been here now for two weeks. I mean, this is the third week. And the first two weeks was just kind of, you know, getting back, immersing myself back into the community, um, you know, reconnecting with people, reconnecting <clears throat> with the people that want to get involved. And that's been terrific to do that. We've done exactly that. And also then the team, the technical team have been on board, kind of building the kind of sculptural element, the installation element in the church. Hall. They've worked really, really hard. Mm -hmm. And it kind of looks fantastic, just pre preparing that embarkation point for the excursion. So that's, you know, going really, really well. And, um, and yesterday, you know, the, the artists of the weekend, the artists arrive to immerse themselves into the project and this sort of uh, uh, experience. And, you know, they'd never, some of them had never been here before. And, you know, it's, it's all in my head. So it's fantastic to share that with them. Uh, and, you know, and they're wonderful artists. I mean, that's why I kind of chose them because I know they can, they can share my vision and they understand it and they can get on with it and then make it theirs, uh, which is great. Because in a way, it's quite an unusual approach because basically we've got one week to make this show because, which is extremely short, but I'm working with artists who can absolutely kind of work spontaneously, intensely in a very short period. You'll understand what I've got to do because, you know, it's logistical, a nightmare really, because we've got to, because there are two groups who are spreading, they come together, they see these kind of performances more than once. So, you know, it, it's a lot to do with timing. So the artists know that we might have to kind of curtail it, cut it, lengthen it, so that depends. But, you know, they've got fantastic material now. We've given them some starting points, myself and Ben, my creative collaborator. So, you know, that's underway and it's just, you know, it's only the second day, but I feel very happy with where they're heading. So currently the, the process is, you know, they go to their sites, their allocated sites, they work there. Ben and I then go to them and work with them. Then we leave them. Then they go up to the next site because a lot of them are multitasking, multi kind of, you know, uh, in different sites as well. But, you know, I'm very happy actually. Uh, with the way it's going and um, looking forward to the next stage and you know we've hit the ground running and we are running very very fast. So what information have you given each artist um, for each location? Maybe just give me an example. You know. I mean in terms of uh, what information I've given to the artist I mean it varies really because they, in a way it's quite a tight brief I mean for example one of the characters that we're reimagining is the Frenchman who is, uh, was um, brought here by John Ruskind, uh, you know, who began his social experiments here. He invited Auguste Gurion, a Frenchman, to come here, and he was a horticulturist. He taught um, you know, the local ladies, the local women folk, how to make kind of soup with herbs. He cultivated the hills behind Barmouth with terraces. You know, and then Gareth, um, you know, he's kind of taking over the role. He's kind of reimagining who this man was. So, you know, you give him some information, you know, we know what he's going to look like. He wore a fez, Gareth wore a fez. You know, no, you know we don't know much about him because we'll invent this. So, you know, wanted Gareth. Gareth is very musical to write a song as an ode to him. There's a, there's a friend, the Frenchman's grave is up the hill. It's a stunning location. Unfortunately, we can't take the audience there because it's too dangerous. But I've commissioned a local artist to make a painting of this. So Gareth will refer to the painting, to the location through his song. I mean, Gareth is very particular, and Marega, Mr. S Mr. Clark, they have a very, you know, particular style that I really admire, and it's about using that, and also for them to, you know, to stretch that and to come out of that as well, but it's a mixture, a marriage of, of you know, what they're really good at, and also for them to try new things.